I recently got commissioned to do a, a planting plan for a home at Cape San Blas. So this is North Florida area. And um, they just bought this beautiful beach house. And mm-hmm. they spent all the money on the beach house. And they're like, the landscape, they're like, our budget's really, really tight. But they paid me for a of plan. Course. And, you know, one of the things is when, when any homeowner is like kind of thinking about doing a project, uh, they start with a plan and then they can take a bite-sized piece of the plan to do a project. So when sure. I presented this beautiful home, when I presented the plan, um, they nearly fell out of the chair because they were like, how do I do all this work? I mean, it was, a, it was a, you know, because I'm going to design everything from uh, every corner. This is like the plan. There's the house in the blue. And so, oh, no wonder they were like, where do I even start? Like, look where at do I even start? And so the idea, and then, you know, you look at all this plant list and really kind of a lot of fun stuff, like ginkgo and wax myrtle. Live oak, multi trunk live oak, century plant, uh, Duke's garden, red cluster, bottle brush. Love that plant. Samantha. Um, Maki podocarpus. I love it down there. And really just going through this whole plan. And I even included some photos because she was a little unfamiliar with Farfugium, which we talked about in one of the previous episodes. Yes, the best plant. I love that plant. Mm-hmm. I love that plant. Like tucked in right by the stairs, you know, where there's a lot of shade and shadows. Um, yes. And so when they see this, they're like, I, I don't, I, I can't afford this. How do I do this? So really the whole idea is sometimes you can kind of start in the corner and kind of work your way out. Obviously you want to make sure that you're not trampling over anything if you want to do. So here's the rule, everybody. You work tallest, like heaviest to lightest, tallest to smallest. And you will always kind of paint yourself out of the room if you do that. And, huh. um, so it's really important. Also, I, I would preface with you think about your utilities. So if you want to do anything like lighting or irrigation, grading, drainage, all that kind of stuff happens. And then tallest to small or lightest to heavy, heaviest to lightest, tallest to smallest. And um, so we're going through that exercise. I thought it was relevant here because so many people get uh, the plan right, and but the process wrong. And the process is that you can pick a project within your plan and just work on that as long as you kind of work within that frame. So are you saying that Michelle did it all right with her soggy spot to first (laughs) think about the process and then go buy plants? Well, yeah, think about the process, but also think about the soil, like amending the soil first. I mean, that's kind of obvious on that instance, but you know, you do need to think about, all right, do I need to come in with a drainage or can I make it work with this? And if, if you say, yes, I can make it work, but you still might want to do some amendments and put permatill and, you know, maybe a little sump or, you know, all these different little techniques before you really pick, even pick yeah. your plant yeah, because it takes up room, it takes up oxygen, it takes up all this kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Pick into your, your spring project. Uh, heaviest to lightest, tallest to smallest. 